All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Buffalo Sabres at New Jersey Devils game to uh, recap from Prague, Czechoslovakia. Uh, so the they were scoreless in the in the first. Uh, they scored one apiece in the second. The Devils scored two in the third. For a 3-1 win, so the New Jersey Devils improved to 2-0 on this season. The Buffalo Sabres fall to 0-2. Um, goals, Buffalo 1, New Jersey 3. Shots, Buffalo Sabres 18, New Jersey Devils 37. Block shots, Sabres 10, Devils 22. Um... Hits, Buffalo 25, New Jersey 13. Face-offs, Buffalo Sabres 18, New Jersey Devils 33. Uh, power plays, Buffalo 0, New Jersey 1. Penalty minutes, Sabres 13, Devils 9. Uh, no scoring in the first, in the second. At 818, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, his first of the season. Assisted by Jordan Greenway, his first of the season, and Alex Tuck, his first of the season, and it's one nothing, good guys. And then at eleven fifty nine, it was New Jersey's Seamus Casey, his first of the season on the power play, assisted by Eric Halla, his first, and Shane Sean Neeson, his first, and after one, or after two, I'm sorry, it's a one one game. Then in the third period, at 7-18, it was New Jersey's Paul Cotter, his second of the season, assisted by Jackie, Jack Hughes, his first, and it's 2-1 Devils. And then at 14-14, it was New Jersey's Timo Meyer, his first of the season, assisted by Brett, his first, and Jack Hughes, his second of the game, his second of the season. 3-1, Devils win. Uh, Devin Levi played really, really well, though. Um... He stopped 34 of 37 shots, um, and the Sabres only had 18 shots, so their inability to shoot the puck and their inability to score goals. I'm telling you, I said this uh, last year, too, when Granado was still the head coach. It's not the coaching. It doesn't matter uh, what kind of coach they have. Lindy Ruff is a... Is a he wants his teams to be physical, you know, get shots to the net, you know, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's his mentality. And once they have the men mentality mentality that they don't care, they're unco they're uncoachable. And this team has a mentality that, you know, yeah, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go, you know, travel and stuff, and we're gonna check out the different cities and stuff, but. The hockey part they don't care about. And the one player, I can't remember who it was in the interview, on the radio even said, you know, that they they don't have a winning mentality. And once, once that's instilled in somebody's head, no coach is going to get that out of them. No coach. Uh, so Lindy Ruff isn't going to be able to help this team. And it, I mean, it's showing in the first two games. They're barely shooting. Uh, they're barely being physical. Um, you know, and the, with them saying that they don't have a winning mentality, that's just, then they're, they're so far gone now that there's no coach that's going to be able to save this team. No coach. Uh, because that means they're uncoachable now. Uh, penalties. In the first period, at 6.02, it was New Jersey's Brendan Dillon. Five-minute major for fighting. Uh, Brendan Dillon. Uh, Brendan Dillon, uh, two minutes for interference. So he got uh, a double penalty. And then at 6.02, it was Buffalo's Alex Tuck, five-minute major for fighting. At 10.25, it was Buffalo's Yuri Kulik, two minutes for hooking. In the second period, at 41 seconds, it was Ale Buffalo's Alex Tuck, two minutes for tripping. At 10.39, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, uh, two minutes for goaltender interference. At 13.38, it was Brendan, New Jersey's Brendan Dillon, two minutes for tripping. And then at 16.07, it was Buffalo's Sam Lafferty, uh, two minutes for tripping. So J.J. Paterka's hurt. 
uh, uh, Nicholas Abe Kubel is hurt. Uh, you know, that this team is having bad luck. Uh, Devin Levi was the only bright spot. Uh, and also Tage Thompson getting his first goal uh, of the season. But uh, J.J. Paterka is in concussion protocol because of a dirty fucking hit by the New Jersey Dirty Devils. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I just... But like I said, they're, they're uncoachable now. Uh, once they have that, you know, that will to not win and the, the not having a winning mentality. And any coach will tell you, you can't get that out of a player. There's no, there's no changing them. You know, this, this team is just, you know, so used to losing that the mentality is, um, uh, they don't believe. That's, that's basically what it is. They don't believe. Uh, and you can't you can't get that out. It's so people who say, "Oh, it's the coach, it's the coach." No, it's not. And Lindy Ruff is, you know, he's even he said, you know, that 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 they're he's telling them one thing, and they're going out there and doing the complete opposite. You know that they're you can't push these guys once they once their mentality is the way theirs is right now. You can't. No coach, no coach is gonna gonna get that out of them, and that means you know that this team probably will never make the playoffs ever again, unless they somehow, you know, change that. But there's no changing that kind of mindset. Ask any coach. So people who said, "Oh, it's the coach, it's the coach, it's the coach," it's not the coach. It's the players. They just they don't care about hockey anymore. Uh, and, you know, I don't know how they got to that point, but, you know, and even Ryan O'Reilly once said that that's why they traded him. He said he lost his love for the game and he was thinking about retiring because he just, he didn't care anymore. And then they traded him to St. Louis and he went and won the Stanley Cup and he said he got his love for the game back. So, I think it's being in in Buffalo is what uh, is what's uh, hurting these players, honestly, uh, and I I don't know how they're ever gonna change that because the mindset that they're in. You can fire the coaches every year, and no coach is gonna change them. Nobody, it's not the coaching, and it's not the GM. It's it's the players. Um. So, but uh, Devin Levi had a hell of a game. Uh, he had three goals against, 37 saves, or 37 shots against. He has a .919 save percentage. Um, and total ice time, 56.06 uh, minutes. So, uh, it, it, Devin Levi has a better... Uh, Save percentage than than uh, Uko Pekka Shittinen. Uh, let's check out Uko Pekka Shittinen. He's got a point eight six four save percentage, um, and Devin Levi has a point nine one nine. So, you know who your starting goalie is? It's Devin Levi by by a mile. It's Devin Levi. So, uh, you know, it, it, and nobody can say different because. Uh, Levi is, is ready. I mean, his, his save percentage is telling you he's ready, you know. And those who still believe in Uko Pekka Shiden, and I don't know what to tell you. He's, he's not a good goalie at all. So, I, I don't know what they're going to be able to do to uh, change this. Uh, they can't trade the whole team. I mean, salary cap and everything else, they just... I don't know what Lindy Ruff can do except ream, ream them. Uh, I don't know what, what you know, he's going to be able to do to change the mindset. But guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. 
This is Sports Don. Peace. Go Sabres. Somehow let's try and beat the Los Angeles Kings. I, I don't think so. And I think they got to go with Devin Levi. Uh, at least for now. I mean, he's he's the better goalie right now. So, um, yeah. Go Sabres. Somehow beat the Kings.